welcome back this whole week is about light and celebration we've got new year during this time of year as well so the next two days we're going to kind of focus on that this is a two-day project today is going to be the day where we paint everything so make sure you get your painting supplies all set up and then tomorrow we're going to be assembling it all and putting it all together to make some really cool fireworks like you're seeing above here. All right. So once again, do make sure that your space is set up for painting. You can see I've got my table covering down, my water dish, paints are out. Um, what else are we going to need? Maybe you're going to want a smock on or you can always turn your shirt inside out. Something because this is acrylic paint, if it gets onto our clothes or onto any sort of fabric it does not come out very easily so definitely always make sure we're kind of set up for that <laughs> what else are we going to need aside from our painting stuff we're going to also need a bunch of q-tips we're going to need some toilet paper rolls if you don't have toilet paper rolls you can also take paper towel rolls or wrapping paper rolls and cut them shorter that works too and we're going to need some thin cardboard. So this, you can see, is just plain cardboard. But um, you really, honestly, if you've got like a cereal box, you could just cut one side of that. We do want the more thin cardboard, though, not the thick stuff. Not like an Amazon box or a box from Aldi or Costco where it's kind of like thicker. We don't want that. We want the nice thin cardboard that's going to be really easy to cut. So think like cereal box, cracker box, something like that with a thin, thin cardboard. Okay, like I said, today is all about painting. <laughs> so I am going to go ahead. Um, I want my my fireworks to be red. So that's um, the color I'm going to get out first. And that's what I'm going to be painting these. And when I say the fireworks, I mean like the part that the firework comes out of, not the actual like explosion in the sky. Okay, so... I'm, I'm choosing red for mine. You choose whatever color you would like for yours. And I'm going to put it onto, if you've got a painter's palette, that's perfect. Otherwise, a paper plate or whatever you use for painting. I'm going to find the biggest paintbrush that I've got. I'm going to put, I'm going to keep my fingers on the inside. You can kind of see if I put my fingers together, it can fall off. But if I open my fingers up, do you see how I can kind of hold this without actually getting you know like this where I get my fingers dirty so that's what I'm gonna do here I just want to paint the entire toilet paper roll I'm gonna paint it whatever color you've chosen I'm gonna turn it around here once again I can kind of move it and hold it simply from the inside and that way I'm not getting my hands all messy however if finger painting is your jam, that's your thing, go ahead, have at it. You, you know your home rules better than me. So go ahead and get it painted however you best see fit. All right. So there is one toilet paper roll. I can do anywhere between two and four of these. Okay. I'm going to do two for the demo. Um, if you choose that you want to do more, feel free to pause this demo at any point, and you can always paint more as well. It'll kind of also depend, I suppose, on how many of these rolls you have. All right. And then don't forget, too, if you don't have enough rolls, but maybe, you know, maybe you end up switching a paper towel or a toilet paper roll later today. This is a two-day project, so you could always paint it and still have it dry on time for tomorrow. All right, I've got my two done. I'm going to let them dry. Put them somewhere safe. Somewhere safe where they're not going to get ruined, okay? Next, I'm going to do my um, thin piece of cardboard, the same color. Now, mine's a little bit bigger than I need. You can kind of see it. It's, it's pretty large. Um, I'm not going to need nearly that much, so I'm actually going to cut mine in half. So here I've cut it in half, and I'm going to actually cut it in half again. So you can see like that. So in the end, you can see it. Here's my adult size hand. 
that's how much cardboard I'm using for this. So basically we want to paint this the same color that we painted our toilet paper rolls. Now next class we are going to be um, chopping it up into little bits and pieces and so we don't need a huge amount. Once again a smaller piece will do just fine. But we want to paint it the same color. It's going to give the look that the top of this has, you know, exploded open and that beautiful firework is coming on out of it. All right, we'll put that off to the side to dry. So there we go. We've got two thirds of our stuff painted and now we're going to move on to the last portion. Go ahead and get out those Q-tips for each firework that we have up in the sky. We're going to need between 10 and 20 Q-tips. Now we are going to be cutting them in half next class. So if you cut 10, that means you're going to end up with 20 halves. If you start with 20, you're going to have 40 halves. So it kind of just depends on how big you want that firecracker to be, um, how many. So let's see, I've got, here's three. I'm going to just do 10 for the demo. Six and 10. So, um, once again, there's not like an exact number. It's just kind of like the more you have, the bigger the firework will end up being. Okay, you can either wash that paintbrush or grab a new one. And I'm gonna pick a new color now. So this is gonna be where the firecracker actually explodes up in the air. What color is it? What colors do we see up in the sky? And I'm gonna take purple first. And for these 10, I'm painting the, the sticks here. So notice I can hold on to the part that would actually go into your ear. I'm going to hold that, keep my hands from getting too messy. And I'm going to be painting all 10 or 12 or 15, however many you've chosen for this color. I'm going to go ahead and paint them all. Just the handle part. You don't need to paint the, the top part. I'm going to paint them all that same color. Now, I don't want this demo <laughs> going too long. So let me just tell you, once you're done with that color, what I'm going to do next is grab out 10 to 20 more. Maybe those I'm going to paint blue. Maybe I'm going to paint them yellow. However many of these firecrackers bases you have, you're going to want at least that many new colors for the fireworks on the top. You could even actually have more though. Maybe I have two of the firecracker bases down here, but I have three fireworks um, up in the sky. And so maybe I have, you know, this lavender color, I have some that are blue, I have some that are yellow, totally up to you. But our goal for next class is going to be to have our firecracker bases painted and then of course we're giving them time to dry. That thin sheet of cardboard that's the same color, that one should be painted and dry and then however many different colors of firework you want, you're going to want 10 to 20 of each color drying and ready to go for next class as well. I'm going to keep on painting mine over here, you keep on painting yours over there, and I can't wait to put this all together next time. We'll see you then.